So if astrology is so real, then why can one Pisces meet another Pisces and they may have similarities, but they also have some major differences in their personality? Well, in this video, you're gonna find out. Hello, beautiful people. Your moon sign reveals your emotional disposition, how you feel about things, and because we're motivated much of the time by how we feel, this can have a major influence on our personality, especially in romantic relationships because we're operating from our emotions much of the time. So, in this video, I will be uncovering the truth behind Pisces and how having each moon sign will influence their personality. And all I ask in return is that you show a little bit of love by hitting that like button. It's really easy, it's free, and it doesn't take a lot of effort. Just a little tap, a baby tap. Okay, no more wasting time. Here are the 12 faces of Pisces, a brief personality description of Pisces based on what moon sign they have. Let's go. Okay, so if someone is a Pisces with Aries moon, this version of Pisces is gonna be very emotional and outspoken. They will perceive the world around them mostly in terms of how it directly affects them as opposed to basing their perception on how it affects them and everyone around them. They are very much live and let live, but if their feelings get hurt, and you're the one they hold responsible, you will for sure hear about it. They definitely have artistic talent and the ambition to get things done, but the issue may be when it comes to consistency. They start projects with a lot of passion and the talent to become successful, but when they don't get the results that they want or they feel like they aren't getting the support and help they need, they can get discouraged and lose focus and motivation. So they for sure work best when they have a support system in place that helps them feel like they're not having to go at things alone. They can definitely be impulsive in terms of instantly going after something that they want without thinking it through much, they're definitely much more feelers than thinkers. They are intelligent, they just make their decisions based on how they feel as opposed to what seems to be the most logical approach. And when it comes to love, they are extremely loving, but this sometimes gets overshadowed by their tendency to care about their own feelings first. This is very unintentional though. They don't set out saying, let me be selfish. They're just wired to make sure that their needs are being fulfilled before they see what someone else is needing. The way to counterbalance this energy is to make sure that you communicate with them what it is that you need also. The thing is someone that's Pisces with Aries moon will always voice their desires. So they feel like if someone else is in need of something that they should speak up also. If they're not speaking up, then it must mean that they're okay. So it's not really that Pisces with Aries moon is completely selfish. They just believe that you should speak up like they do. So if you don't and you're not getting your needs met, well, then they think you're okay. Because A, you're not saying anything, and B, if you aren't okay, well, it's your own fault because you didn't speak up. So communication, though it is important for everyone, it's especially important when you're interacting with a Pisces with Aries moon because they won't go chasing information that doesn't directly concern them. So if you want them to know something, tell them. Don't expect them to just intuitively figure it out. They're very strong and they're very giving and they're very loving, but you'll see this the most when their needs are being met and they feel loved. Otherwise, that loving energy can be overshadowed by their frustration and their tendency to sometimes play the victim. They can for sure take a leadership role and you may find in a relationship with them that they will tend to be the decision maker or at least they'll try to put themselves in that role. So overall, you will experience a very loving, intelligent, powerful personality that is also very sensitive and can have a quick temper when they feel like their feelings aren't being taken into consideration. So you'll get the best version of this personality if you're committed to open, solution-oriented communication and if you don't take it personally when they're leading with their needs because the good thing is, once their needs are met, you will get someone who is sharing, capable, and like I said, powerful. Just know that if their needs aren't being met, you can have a seriously dramatic situation on your hands. Okay, Pisces with Taurus mood. This is gonna be a personality that is very conscious of what they believe to be right and wrong and will stubbornly stand up for their point with no hesitation. This person will have a great sense of taste when it comes to understanding beauty and they will also have a great business sense. They may find themselves getting caught up in some unnecessary details and finding it hard to let go, but in the end it's usually just because they want to right some wrong. Because this type of personality is emotionally connected to what they think or feel, it can be very hard to change their mind. You have to first change how they feel. So just know that going into a situation with them where the two of you might disagree. The good news is this personality also is great about offering up what they believe the solution could be in the situation where you two have a gripe about something. They just don't harp on what they don't like. They're actually just identifying what needs to be changed in hopes to solve what they see to be a problem. We know Pisces to be a dreamer and Taurus to be a practical planner for the future, so this personality does spend a lot of time talking about what they envision for themselves in the future, and they do so in great detail. 
Luckily, they have the balance of practicality and vision to make it happen. So when it comes to their path in life, they're best suited for structure and consistency. Otherwise, they can get off track and find themselves feeling dissatisfied and just living in a fantasy world. So for all of you Pisces with Taurus moons out there, if you find yourself in this sort of situation, just take a deep breath, make a commitment to no longer allowing any form of regret to be entertained by your consciousness and simply create an action plan for yourself. When your type of personality has a clear plan and you stick to it, you're unstoppable. Now, when it comes to love, this personality is very loving, but can also, because of that Taurus moon, be pretty demanding. This isn't because they're emotionally high maintenance. It's more of the fact that they understand that making sure everything is taken care of today creates a comfortable tomorrow. So if you're in a relationship with them, making sure to have a strong financial financial plan and foundation will always keep them feeling secure and excited for the future and you'll get the best version of them. They aren't materialistic necessarily, but they are not a fan of financial woes, so they'll keep them at bay at all costs. They are definitely wired to be in a relationship. They crave it and they thrive when they have a partner that they can share their lives with. They'll be supportive, committed, and loving. Just remember that if they feel that you're not following the rules, you're going to hear about it. Most Pisces are all about freedom and they will give you freedom for sure, but their moon is Taurus so this freedom will come as long as they know that the two of you are on the same page when it comes to the do's and don'ts of the relationship. They usually make great cooks so be ready for some delicious food and even if they aren't cooking the food they will know the best restaurant in town for each individual cuisine that the two of you might have a taste for. So overall a Pisces with Taurus moon is a sensitive practical loyal dreamer that will for sure have some demands well they would like to call them requests but they're really demands but if those demands slash requests are met then you will be rewarded with passion, consistency, support, and a compassionate partner. But if they're not met, well, let's just say they can take nagging to a whole new level because whatever point they're attempting to prove, they're not letting go until the problem is solved. Okay, Pisces with Gemini moon. So think about this. You have a Pisces, which is symbolized by two fish swimming in opposite directions, and Gemini is symbolized by the twins. So we basically have four energies in one person. So if anything, you will definitely never ever, never ever be bored when it comes to interacting with this exciting, unique, and sometimes unpredictable personality. Needless to say, this personality can go from one extreme to another often and quickly. You may be with them one moment and they express a total distaste for something or someone, and the next time you see them, it can be their favorite person or thing on the planet. And this is not at all because they're not genuine or authentic. They are just wired to and allow themselves to change their perspective without judging themselves, which can be a fantastic trait in terms of you knowing that they will always have have an open mind, but it can be a little scary if you ask them to commit to something or make a final decision on one idea. These personalities are very friendly and compassionate, incredibly creative and innovative. Talk about a million and one new ideas a minute. If you ever need someone to have a creative brainstorm for a project, call up a Pisces with Gemini Moon and you will have more ideas than you can handle. So it's clear to see that this personality definitely has its positive traits, but there's also that other side of the coin. They do get bored easily and they can have a hard time committing to just one idea idea or belief system for an extended period of time. Of course, this has helped if they have a rising like Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or even Scorpio. But overall, consistent is not a way most people would describe them. However, they are very caring people that are usually well liked. Remember, Pisces and Gemini are both mutable signs and mutable energies are generally great when it comes to meeting with and connecting with people. They are highly intelligent individuals who are great with coming up with solutions on the spot. Now, when it comes to love, you can rest assured you will have a good time. They're they're witty, they're sensitive, and very willing to express their affection for you. The challenge with them in relationships is pretty much the main challenge with them overall. If you're the type of person that truly requires consistency and the following of very specific structure, then you're absolutely going to have a hard time making this work with them. For example, if you have a Pisces with Gemini moon trying to date a Virgo with let's say Taurus moon, well this isn't going to last for too long because the Pisces with Gemini moon inevitably says one thing but then does another. And this double earth sign is for sure going to have a problem with that sort of behavior. Now when it comes to committing to a relationship, yes, Pisces with Gemini Moon can for sure do this and they can be excited to do so, but in order for it to work, they're best suited with someone who has a similar way of seeing commitment. For example, if they both commit to being honest and transparent with each other, then this is something that can keep the connection strong, but the person that they're with has to be very open and flexible when it comes to following traditional rigid relationship rules and regulations. A Pisces with Gemini Moon will thrive with someone else who is open-minded and not very judgmental, someone who is loving and smart but not jealous 
us and values freedom. So overall, when it comes to a Pisces and the Gemini moon, you will get someone who is intuitive, logical, expressive, unpredictable and absolutely ever-changing and for someone who also sees the world in a similar way they can make an amazing partner but the rules are necessary and consistency is king crowd they need not apply <laughs> okay pisces with cancer moon talk about emotional and powerful. The thing is whenever you get two energies like Pisces and Cancer that are compatible with each other, you're gonna get an amplified version of the things that they have in common. So the positive traits that they commonly have will be amplified, but the negative traits will also be amplified. So with this personality, you're gonna get someone that is very compassionate, extremely intuitive, creative, caretaking, sensitive, and emotionally expressive. However, you will also get someone that is triggered easily emotionally and will become reactive when they are triggered. It won't take much to hurt their feelings and when their feelings do get hurt, they are absolutely not quiet about it. Well, they may shut down and give you the silent treatment, but the energy of contempt that they hold for you or whoever has hurt them that is emanating off of them will be felt loud and clear. If they don't know you that well, or at least know you well enough to trust you, they'll keep their feelings hidden and put forth the version of themselves that they're comfortable with you seeing. However, if they do trust you and they let you in, this is when you will see that very sensitive and vulnerable side of them. Now, this doesn't at all mean they're weak. They are very powerful. They are convinced they're clear with their intentions they're very focused when they want something and forget about it if they have someone that loves them and has their back because they will feel very very powerful so I would say that the most important thing for someone that has this chart is in terms of what brings out the most powerful version of them is them having the security of someone that loves them and has their back this is what ignites their confidence now when it comes to love they will give you the world they will make you feel protected cared for understood and they're great at knowing what you need without you even and having to tell them but when they feel like the security of the relationship is being threatened in any way be it by an outside influence or the person that they're with not behaving in a loving and supportive way and for them supportive means kind of going along with their agenda then this is when they become angry they can become critical in some ways controlling the bottom line is when their negative emotions take over they really take over this personality is all or nothing the good news is if they take this turn and you just find out what they need in order to feel better and you provide that, then voila, they're back to being the person that you love and enjoy. But if you judge them for their feelings and they don't feel supported, well, you will have hell to pay. So overall, this is a passionate, definitely emotional, but hidden personality if they don't trust you and it does take them a lot of time to trust. But if they do trust you and you let them in, you will experience a supportive, caretaking, ride or die as long as you cherish their feelings. But if you don't, watch out because that ocean of emotion can be a tidal wave and you may just find yourself drowning if you're not careful. Okay, Pisces with Leo Moon. Now, the Leo Moon energy here is the perfect remedy for any insecurities that Pisces may have a tendency to feel. This is a passionate and driven personality that has no fear when it comes to going after what they want and having the confidence to get it. This personality definitely asks for what they want, but they're not necessarily demanding. If they find that one person doesn't provide what they need, they won't cry or sulk about it, they'll just cut their losses and move on until they find what it is that they're looking for. They have a large capacity for compassion, but they don't give of themselves to the point that they sacrifice their own happiness. So they do have a great balance of caring for others and self-worth. For them, it's all about being true to themselves. They respect people who are authentic and they do their best to present that version of them to the world around them. They will stand up for what they believe in and because Pisces is an emotional, mutable energy and Leo is an assertive, fixed energy, once you blend these two energies, you will get a personality that will stand strong in what they believe and won't be yielding just to get along. They will be very creative, so they may take an artistic path in life, or you could also find them in a profession that is based in service to others and making a difference. Emotionally, this person can be pretty dramatic, but not to the point where you feel like they have no self-control. They are more dramatic in the way that if they are expressing something, they do it with intensity and connection to that feeling. They don't half do things or approach anyone or anything that they care about lightly. When it comes to love, they are for sure wired to be in a relationship. So it won't be difficult to get them to commit. They're attracted to ambitious types and they won't settle just to be with someone. They have an ideal of what love should be and like every other area of life, they will not settle for less than their ideal. When they're angry, you will know it. And like any other personality that has fire moon, they may explode. But once the smoke clears, which it does pretty quickly, they'll be all about finding a solution, communicating and moving forward. They're best suited for someone that is emotionally available, but also grounded and confident and absolutely not 
lazy. They don't do lazy. And they'll be really turned off with anyone who says that they're gonna do something, but then they don't follow through. They also have a deep well of energy to draw from. So where others may give up if the road ahead seems too long or with mountains too steep to climb, not a Pisces with Leo Moon. If they want something, even in love, they will go and go and go until they get it. So overall, when it comes to this personality type, you will get passion, you will get fire, you will get empathy and emotional availability. But they expect you to do your part and if you don't, they will crack the whip and get you right on track. And if you don't get on that track, well, they'll leave you right there sitting on that dusty do nothing track of yours because they want to live life in terms of experiences and adventures. Yes, love, but always a thirst for more. So if you have the energy to keep up with them, this can be a very rewarding relationship. But if you're the more laid back, let's go with the flow and see where life takes us type, then absolutely look elsewhere. Okay, Pisces with Virgo moon. Now here we have that one situation like we do with every sign where the sun and moon are polar opposites. You have Pisces energy that is very open to all possibilities and is willing to explore those possibilities and Virgo that is sure open to possibilities but also very particular about what they believe to be possible and why. Virgo is critical and Pisces is sensitive to criticism so when you put these two energies in one person you get someone that does operate in extremes. They will be creative but critical of their own creations and though they may not always express their dissatisfaction outwardly they will be feeling it. They may tend to worry a lot and also be a bit obsessive because they're always on the quest of making sure that things are as close to perfect as possible and because Pisces is an emotional sign when you put this perfectionist nature of Virgo with Pisces you'll get someone that is hard on themselves and it will also be very hard for them to accept criticism from other people although they won't have a hard time dishing out their own opinion. <laughs> they aren't very self-centered though they do show strong concern for the world and the people around them so if you find them dishing out any critiques it's truly with the intention of making something better as opposed to attempting to just make themselves look better by making something else seem worse or less than. The Virgo energy is very helpful with Pisces when it comes to creating a personality that will see something through to the end. This will also lend to them being great with talking to, connecting with, and just overall networking with people from all walks of life. They're also really good at working as part of a team. They're resourceful but not bossy. Now when it comes to love, this is a very interesting version of Pisces where we usually think of Pisces as being overly romantic and overly emotional. A Pisces with Virgo moon is much more logical when it comes to their emotions and they aren't overly expressive at all. They have no problem expressing what they're unhappy about and then working to solve the issue. But in terms of them being overly romantic or affectionate or just dishing out compliments because they know it's going to make you feel good, that's not really how they're wired. So they're for sure loving and they can be loyal to a connection that they really cherish. But relative to other Pisces personalities, they will be much more practical when it comes to how they approach relationships. You won't find them being emotionally out of control or playing anyone's victim. So overall with this personality, you will get someone who is driven, grounded, creative, and willing to access their emotions for the right cause, but also someone that has a very high bar in terms of what they're willing to compliment or give their admiration to. They can be hard on themselves and be hard on others, including people that they love, because they feel like if you really care about someone, you'll hold them to the standard of being the best version of themselves that they can possibly be. They are capable of deep love, but it also comes with a clear requirement of being with someone who is willing to work hard and a commitment to always striving to be their best as individuals and as a couple. Okay, Pisces with Libra Moon. Now this is a pretty easygoing Pisces. They are truly natural empaths. They feel everything around them and they feel it deeply. They're very emotional as most Pisces are, but they also, because of that Libra Moon of theirs, will experience major shifts in temperament because Libra is all about balance. So when things are out of balance, they will feel it. And as we know in life, much of the time, it can be out of balance. So they do experience many ups and downs in life. I always say that if you take water energy and put it with air energy, you're gonna get waves and this is the perfect example. This personality will be very friendly, a bit refined, have great taste, and will for sure be attracted to a profession that allows them to either express their creativity or express their ability to have deep compassion for others or some work that involves some version of healing. A challenge for them can be living much in a dream world. They don't really like to face reality because reality can be pretty harsh at times. Now this doesn't mean that they're not intelligent, it just means that if reality isn't offering up a scenario that feels good, they don't mind escaping into their imagination to experience a more comforting scenario. Now dealing with them isn't all unicorns and rainbows though. When this personality type gets angry, it can be pretty dramatic. So you don't want to get on their bad side. The good news is they really only get angry when they feel like they're being treated unfairly or if they're witnessing some sort of injustice. And trust me, they would much rather get along. They hate conflict. It's an exhausting experience for them. Now when it comes to love, they are very compassionate and they love the idea of love. However, it may take them a while to decide that someone is the right person for them. 
They tend to be a bit indecisive with their feelings and will constantly wonder if they're making the right decision. They also have a hard time talking about their true feelings for fear of being misunderstood or for fear of being a burden to other people. So as a side note, if you're a Pisces with Libra Moon and you're watching this, please start to tell yourself that you deserve to have your needs met as much as anyone else. You owe it to yourself to speak up and share what you need, especially if it's with someone that you're in a romantic relationship with. Although they do take some time to get to the point of commitment, they are capable of very deep, sustainable love. But it must be with someone who gives them freedom without judgment and someone that is also patient with them when it comes to communicating their feelings. Sometimes they do hold back and not because they don't want to share with you, but simply because much of the time they aren't really sure how they truly feel. So be willing to talk things out with them. Be willing to show them that their feelings are just as important as anyone else's. This person can be a serious joy to be around as long as they're in a pleasant environment. Because they're so empathic, it is important that they are very careful with who and what they surround themselves with. So overall, a Pisces with Libra Moon will be someone with a gift for creating and appreciating beauty, someone that enjoys laughing and loving, but also someone who is highly emotional and majorly affected by their surroundings. And when they are affected, they have a dark side that can lead to conflict and then making decisions that are not good for them. So they are best suited to be with someone who's intelligent, understanding, open-minded, fun-loving, and has a high standard for doing the right thing, but who is not critical and who is also solution-oriented in terms of communication and doesn't want to play the blame game. Okay, Pisces with Scorpio Moon. Now this one is another powerful Pisces. Scorpio Moon is the perfect energy to give Pisces focus, clarity, confidence in their decisions, and intensity to their feelings. Yes, this person will be emotional, but also logical. They will be sensitive, but they will have a strong hold on being reactive. Now, this doesn't mean that they're an angel by any means. If someone does this personality wrong, they will be quick to put that person in a very undesirable category and keep them there with not much willingness to change their sentencing. Like all Pisces personality types, this Pisces will be creative, but the dreamer will have the sense of purpose and tenacity to make those dreams come true. This personality will also be mysterious and a little less outgoing than other Pisces personality types. Pisces are great with people and generally pretty social, but a Pisces with Scorpio Moon, although they will be good with people, they're much more reserved, private, and to themselves, and much more discerning when it comes to who they're willing to share their energy with. This person will definitely have some secrets, and they will also find it hard to trust. Once they do trust, though, they are fiercely loyal to a cause or a connection. They're extremely intuitive and take in everything around them, so don't think that just because they're not saying anything that it doesn't mean that they don't know what's going on. Trust me, they know, and they're just filing away information in case they need to use it in the future. They analyze everything. And not to judge it, they're just very interested in how and why people do the things that they do. They will be successful at whatever they set their mind to as long as they don't allow themselves to be emotionally distracted by the things that will take them off course. Now when it comes to love, they love deeply and they love passionately. They will take their time falling for someone because they must feel safe before they truly open up. But if you put in the time with this personality, you will be greatly rewarded. You will, however, find it difficult to feel like you know them 100% because because they do tend to be guarded even with the person that they trust. So just know that vulnerability is very difficult for them to embrace. They will be physically and emotionally expressive and they will always have your back. They tend to be a bit jealous and vengeful if you do them wrong. So the solution for that is don't do them wrong. They know that we all make mistakes and they can be forgiving when you face issues as a couple, but if dishonesty or infidelity creeps into the relationship, that will be a lot harder if not impossible for them to recover from. They can be possessive and like I said, they're private. So if you're the type that wants your relationship to be open to the world, then you might want to look elsewhere. They have no interest in posting your every experience for all the world to see and comment on. So overall, a Pisces with Scorpio Moon is imaginative, deeply spiritual, emotional, and intense, but can also be a bit controlling and hard to get close to. But if you're willing to show them your heart and do what it takes to show them that they're safe with you, you will have a once in a lifetime type of love that for better or worse, you will forever remember. Okay, Pisces with Sagittarius. Sagittarius moon. Okay, now you know how I've said in just about every one of these combinations that the Pisces with whatever moon is creative. Well, this Pisces with Sagittarius moon takes creativity to a whole new level. Just to give you an idea, Einstein was a Pisces with Sagittarius moon. With the Pisces energy, you're talking about out of the box dreamer with depth of emotion and combining that with the philosophical, expansive thinker that Sagittarius brings. So you end up with a person that believes the sky is the limit with the innovative
creative perspective and ambitious nature to explore those limits. This person will be very successful with whatever they focus their energy on, provided that they don't allow any addictive behaviors to distract them. Both Pisces and Sagittarius energy can be prone to overdoing things. And because Pisces is a feeler, it can be easy to find someone that is Pisces with Sagittarius moon overindulging in things that feel good. So for all of you Pisces with Sagittarius moons out there, remember balance is the key to any formula that you want to result in a positive and sustainable outcome. This person will be interested in music, science, spirituality. They will also be great with people. Both Pisces and Sagittarius are mutable signs, so they make excellent networkers and they're very adaptable. So professionally and in their personal independent pursuits, they will find success. Now, here's the challenge for this personality. Romantic relationships. The challenge isn't them finding a partner. They're actually pretty charismatic and magnetic with their energy. The issue is more for the person that they're in a relationship with. We know that committed relationships do require some boundaries and some structure to them and also a certain amount of emotional expression. Well, Pisces with Sagittarius Moon has a very difficult time following any rules whatsoever. They love to rebel and they are very generous and open-minded, but consistently committed to factoring in how their actions are gonna affect somebody else, well, that's a challenge for them. They're absolutely capable of commitment and deep love, but they're best suited with someone that truly values independence and someone that is okay with them committing to things and not always delivering on their commitment. And it's not because they don't care, but it's more because they prefer the freedom to change course whenever they deem necessary if it will result in their eyes in a more enjoyable and successful outcome. They don't really feel the need to run these changes by their significant other before they finalize their decisions. So overall, a Pisces with Sagittarius Moon is incredibly creative, fun-loving, excellent in terms of social interaction, and big picture thinkers. But in love, they do require absolute freedom, adaptability, and just know that they are very challenged when it comes to following rules. They can get there. Actually, I have some clients with this chart and I've seen them have very successful and traditional love relationships, but it did take a little patience on the part of their significant other to give them some practice at the whole following the rules thing. They start off very strong because when they want something or someone, they know how to get it. But the more demanding their partner becomes, the more resistant they become, but it is workable. So if you believe in them and you're patient, love will get the two of you to the other side of any frustration and it will be worth it in the end. But getting this personality type to truly settle down into the construct of a long-term relationship will be a journey, an exciting journey, but not always an easy one. Okay, Pisces with Capricorn Moon. Now, all of the times that I've said that Pisces aren't that great with following rules and resist structure, well, this version of Pisces is all about structure and finds comfort in following rules that they know create the disciplined environment for them to thrive. This personality will have the sensitivity and intuitive depth of Pisces with the reserved, calculated, ambition of Capricorn, which makes for a very powerful, grounded personality. This version of Pisces is great in a leadership role. They do what they say they're going to do, and they're seen as very dependable and capable by anyone in their social circles. As kids, they're perceived as much more mature than their counterparts. The Capricorn moon is also a great balance for Pisces sun energy because it will create a perspective that is great with making money and budgeting money, but they won't be driven by materialism. They'll be driven by the security and freedom that they know financial abundance can bring. So when it comes to forging a path of success, this personality has no problem setting goals and achieving them. Now, when it comes to love, this personality will be very independent, but also willing and excited when it comes to the idea of love and a traditional relationship. They won't, however, have an easy time manifesting the love that they desire because they, number one, find it difficult to trust, and number two, because of this difficulty to trust, they actually have some very powerful defense walls up that you will need to break down in order to create the environment for you both to have true intimacy. They will be capable of consistency and commitment in a relationship. It will take a very specific type of energy to bring them to the point where they can allow their romantic side to shine. Once they do find true love though, they are caretaking, generous, loyal, and they will be affectionate, but the affectionate and emotionally expressive side will always be a challenge for them even when they're feeling safe. So if you're in a relationship with this personality, try not to take it personally if you feel that they're holding back in some way or you feel that they're being cold emotionally. Make sure to try and understand that they have a very different 
difficult time with expressing their emotions and opening up. And just know that the more time the both of you spend on working on communication and connection, the better your Pisces with Capricorn Moon will get at showing the love that they truly do feel. So overall, someone that is Pisces with Capricorn Moon will be a tenacious, hardworking dreamer, bound for success with a big heart that does need the right sort of connection to be able to open up and truly be that romantic they so fiercely protect. Okay, Pisces with Aquarius Moon. Now this is another very intellectually driven version of Pisces. When you take the intuitive connection of Pisces energy and combine it with the innovative problem solver that Aquarius can be, then you get one capable personality. This Pisces will be more organized than other Pisces, sun, moon combinations, and incredible when it comes to figuring out how something works and why it works that way. Although Pisces is known for being emotional, this version of Pisces will be much more aloof and even feel detached to some because they process their emotions through their intellect. So something needs to make sense to them in order for them to care about it. They don't just care because society says that they should. They actually don't do anything that society says that they should do just because society says they should do it. They like to make their own rules and live by those rules and they feel like if you don't bother them, then they won't bother you. They aren't cold at all though. They're actually very friendly and appreciate all types of people. The positive thing about this personality is they don't have the usual ups and downs emotionally that most Pisces have. They also tend to find success on their career path because they can stay focused and have enough determination and capability to do so. And if they don't start off with that capability, they're absolutely able to learn whatever skill necessary, if they have any interest. If they don't have an interest, you can hang it up. And this is because of that tendency to not do things just because someone says they should. If they don't see the purpose, it's not happening. Now, when it comes to love, they will be very exciting to be with because they are great conversationalists and they usually exist in a very unique world that they've created for themselves. So when you get to be a part of that world, it can be very exciting, but getting them to commit to a traditional, practical, rule-abiding relationship, you're gonna have a hard way to go. If you thought Pisces with Sagittarius Moon was a tough one to pin down, well then you haven't tried to do so with a Pisces with Aquarius Moon. They love anything new and exciting. And for anyone who's been in a long-term relationship, we know that love for sure can remain exciting, but new, most people aren't reinventing themselves every year. So if you do fall for this combination, be ready to keep it interesting. Hopefully you love the chase because when they're with you, they can make you feel like it is just you and them against the world. But when you two are apart, you might feel like you need to put out an Amber Alert to catch up with them. They don't do clingy, they don't do demanding, and they absolutely don't do jealousy. So if you tend to be any of these things in a relationship, they are not for you. So overall, Pisces with Aquarius Moon is friendly, open-minded, intelligent, talented for sure in one way or another, and very attractive because of their confidence and transcendental aura. But for sure hard to pin down, and I don't mean pin down in terms of control them, I mean more in the way that if like you're trying to catch a butterfly, to admire and experience its beauty, you would potentially get exhausted running around trying to chase them down. But those moments of connection are absolutely worth it. So if you're the freedom loving, unconventional relationship type, they are perfect for you. If your dream is to have the traditional meetup, get married, have kids, picket fence situation, you can hang it up. Well, you don't necessarily have to hang it up, but just know it's gonna be a long road to travel in terms of them adopting that idea as something that they're fulfilled by. Okay, Pisces with Pisces Moon. Well, first, let's start with how amazingly intuitive this personality will be. So if you are Pisces with Pisces Moon out there watching this, make sure to follow your instincts and intuition. You have a strong connection to the spiritual world and your inner voice should ring loud and clear. Their environment is extremely important to them because they feel everything. This is the type of personality that must to surround themselves with optimistic, compassionate, yet practical people. A Pisces with Pisces moon can pick up and even take on others' energy, so if they're around negativity, it can be a very hard energy to shake. They also have a difficult time shaking feelings of frustration or sadness or even anger if they're not getting along with someone that they care about. So communication is going to be so important when dealing with this personality. When they are good, they are amazing, but when they're emotionally not in a good place, it is very difficult to bring them back to center. This is because Pisces Pisces is like an ocean of emotion. So their intense feelings run deep. So if someone is Pisces with Pisces moon, then you can imagine when that ocean experiences rough waters, those rough waters will run extremely deep and it will take a lot to bring them back to a calm space. They're best suited for careers in the arts or healing, just some space where they can use their creativity, their emotional intelligence and awareness, and their ability to see what no one else can easily see. If they have other signs in their chart that lend to a more practical professions, 
then they'll be capable of that as well. But the more freedom of expression they have, the better. Now, when it comes to love, they are for sure wired to be in a relationship. They are romantic, affectionate, generous, and just overall loving. But don't think that all that emotion doesn't need love as well. They have many ups and downs and don't do well at all with a partner that is critical or demanding. They need to feel appreciated and free to be who they are without judgment. And if they feel that way, they'll try to give you the world. But if they feel unloved, restricted, or underappreciated by you, they will retreat into their own world and shut you out. They can be a million miles away and right next to you at the same time if they choose to. So they can shower you with love or freeze you out depending on the strength of connection and compassion between the two of you. They are very friendly and sometimes shy, but always willing to increase an emotional connection with someone that they love. So overall, a Pisces with Pisces moon is someone with deep spiritual connection, incredible insight and intuition, with the ability to love and support you through any challenges, but someone who also runs from conflict has a very hard time expressing themselves when they're either angry with you or you're angry with them. So they can just withdraw as opposed to face the facts if the facts are painful. So if romance is your top priority, they may just be the love you're looking for. But if practicality, facing the hard facts and independence in a relationship sounds good to you, then run for the hills because you're definitely better suited for a different energy. Okay, there you have it. A brief personality description of the 12 faces of Pisces based on what moon sign they have. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you've had any experiences with a version of Pisces that you'd like to share, please do so. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and hang out with me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.